Uh, thank you. <laughs> How are you both? We're doing good. We just finished up a dungeon, the Ice Palace, which was a pretty annoying dungeon. Fuck my drag, right? Um, head to number six. Okay. Your fave Zelda game in this style was Link's Awakening DX. That was such a good game. Um, yeah, if I had to pick between a 2D Zelda style, like top down, it would be between Link to the Past or Link's Awakening. Those are, those are the two best ones, in my opinion. Um, so now you can head the, to the next dungeon. Is it in this area? Uh, look at your map. It should be. Okay, so yeah. it's a little more north. Yeah. Okay, so redemption's over. So I will be putting my shirt back on. So give me a minute, everybody. Ooh. What? A great fairy? She's here to heal your wounds. Has there ever been a great fairy that looked like a great fairy, but she was a fake and she was like evil? Um. No, not that I remember. That'd be funny if Ganondorf like did drag and dressed up as a fake fairy or something. <laughs> I think you have to use your Quake medallion there. You see the little symbol? Oh. Give a twirl. <laughs> give a twirl. Give a twirl. Give a twirl. <laughs> you enjoyed that a bit. <laughs> uh, Alexander, did you play the Link's Awakening remake? We, unfortunately, when we played it, we weren't streaming yes! at the time. Come on! Oh, thank you for the follow! Nice! Welcome really to Bear Pair Gaming. It. Yeah! And thank you so much for the follow and the bits. Really do appreciate it, Alexander. Yeah, unfortunately, when that game came out, we weren't streaming yet. We didn't have the equipment. Um, so maybe we'll revisit it sometime. Since I got to play that one, maybe you can play it too. Yeah. And now that you're aboard, maybe we should kind of reintroduce ourselves. I'm Danny. Uh, and I'm Jesse. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> we're... Why did you have to think to say I didn't know name? we were like doing the in like the literal <laughs> well, you intro literally, you all over again. You literally said introduce yourself. But I mean like what kind of games do you usually play okay. and what you know gotcha. what what we do here at Get Bear Gaming. All right. So, uh, we are a couple of 10 years. We've been together for 10 years. Gon going on 11 this year. But um, we've been gaming together uh, even longer than that because we did know each other sometime before we got together. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I'm more a Nintendo gamer. Like, I, that's what I grew up with. And so um, I'm very into Legend of Zelda. That's my favorite all-time series. Uh, next would be, like, um, Super Smash Brothers. Uh, Pokemon. Pokemon something we both really have in common. We play Pokemon games together constantly. Mm -hmm. um, fighting games. I love fighting games as well. Uh, and Smash Brothers. Uh, what else would I say I enjoy? And, and Jesse's getting me more back into my retro roots here because he is more of a retro gamer. So that's also something we kind of share with each other in the channel is uh, maybe play like well he's playing a Zelda game because that's my Whoa. favorite and before this we played Super Mario RPG which I never played before that so like we'll, we'll be taking turns show each, showing each other games that we grew up with that maybe the other hasn't played yet yeah and for me um, I'm more of the PlayStation Sega Genesis kind of uh, person like, I grew up with Sega um, a lot more than Nintendo. Um, and then PlayStation, with, with, when the whole N64 versus PlayStation thing was going on. Um, PS2, PS3. I'm all caught up on PlayStation. Um, Xbox, a little bit. A little bit of Xbox. But i kind of fallen off that ship 
um, lately. And um, yeah, I very much enjoy the retro games, um, survival horror games. You were oh. Nintendo all the way to Ruin. <laughs> nice. And uh, Alexander, you're, um, you haven't played the remake yet. I have made up my mind and there were more games I wanted to play first. Gotcha. Oh, well, nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Nice, nice to meet you too. Um, and uh, to continue on, um, I'm also big on movies. Like I know that's unrelated to to video games, but um, yeah, I'm into movies. I, I'm a bit of a every day is October kind of guy, you know. <laughs> um, so I do tend towards like horror, so survival horror games as well. Yes. I don't know, yeah. You're getting me more into survival horror games. Resident Evil 5 was actually one of the first games we played together. Um, and then from there I got into the Resident Evil series because of you. You mean the month of Hallotober? <laughs> yes. Every, every month is Halloween for Jesse, honestly. But we wanted to do something for halfway to Halloween. Um, but unfortunately we did have plans that day. Um, but maybe we can still play something on stream because I know Fluffy Pandad gave us a copy of Resident Evil 5 on Switch, so we were thinking of playing that soon with him. We can do like a co-stream. And also I just realized, I mean, I, I already saw that you were in there, but yeah, the, the next dungeon has officially started. <laughs> Duh. There's a lot going on in this dungeon. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get like, they're, they're gonna get more like things are going on like chaotic what webcam do you boys use it's such a good quality my stream doesn't look that good ha 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 um it's just the logitech i honestly was thinking of upgrading because now that i'm working i can probably afford to upgrade um i don't know i to me the quality doesn't look that great but i guess to each their own like um because I, I have seen some people with some crazy quality cameras and I'm just like, ooh, I wonder what they're using. I always thought it was fine. Just it, it has room for improvement. That's yeah. the main thing. I mean, it is fine. It gets the job done. And we're also going to be working on our backdrop a little more. We, we have some redecorating ideas we're going to be doing. I eventually want to replace the cabinets we have behind us with something a little more like glass. But thank you so much for the compliment. Really do appreciate it. You need to be able to count the pores in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, not my pores. That's when you know it's good quality. If you can see any of my pores on camera, I swear I'll kill you. Stop the tape! I do not have pores! My pores are cute! My pores are tiny! You're fired! Oh. That's a very double-edged sword, too, about having, like high high-end quality cameras is you can see everything and i'm i'm not sure i want everyone to to see my pores i'm gonna play that cl that clip of uh quinn from daria going my pores are not big my pores are small my pores are cute and she starts <laughs> freaking out i remember that <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if the game wants me to be using this cloak as much as I have been. Yeah, it's weird. I don't think it's like, I think it's a side item, so it's kind of weird. I don't know what the game expects you to do. But I, I've just been sort of using it as a quick way to get to get over there. Yeah, because to my knowledge, you can complete the game without that cape. I could be wrong though. Because I thought it was just like a side item. But then again, I thought the Quake Medallion was a side item and you needed it for this dungeon. Daddy, no! <laughs> oh, Daddy, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alexander. <laughs> He's like, what does this button do? <laughs> True, that's the downside. I don't want to see my wrinkles. <laughs> Wrinkles? What wrinkles? <laughs> Gays never age. <laughs> I just wonder what Ganon's up to. <laughs> 
I, I like that the awkward pose I added there, or the, not pose, the awkward pause I added there at the end. <laughs> what are these? They look like... Slugs. Okay, from, from the front view, it looked like a walking potato. That's Mr. Potato Head to you! <laughs> and are they laying bombs? Ooh, Green they're... bombs? Come on, slug bombs. Oh! <laughs> I thought you turned one of the slugs into a fairy. <laughs> I'm like, girl, she went from a slug to a fairy in an instant. <laughs> All you need is a little powder. Yeah, um, I think this is the first time I've come across a room that uh, I ended up on the other side of it. Hmm. Let's see. If... Okay. <laughs> Not to throw shade at the slugs, but <laughs> yes, shade. All the shade. <laughs> A lot of keys. I know you have like a whole key ring thing going on <laughs> right now. It okay, can you guys picture this? Like, um, Link's in a dungeon and he has like four keys, and he's sitting there going through all his keys, just like trying to figure out which one opens which door. <laughs> I can see that being a TikTok or something. That'd be cute. It should be like those baby keys too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'm just kind of like, I, I have to actually like, think about where I'm going now because... Um... Oh. Do you light those on fire or anything? What, the net? The little thing with the mouth sticking out. Link should just invest in lockpicks, right? We need Jill up in here to be the master of unlocking. Speaking of Resident Evil, though, I do have a redemption I've been working on. I think I showed you a little sneak peek of it, but mm -hmm. I should have that set up soon. And we we want to play Resident Evil already. Like, yeah. that's one of our main favorite uh, series together. And we want to start doing, like, a um, compilation of Resident Evil games on the stream. I should do that TikTok, Wolfie. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Maybe Jesse can get on on it. Wait, so should I jump down or go up? Um, I'd say go up first. Only to realize that all the keys okay, are identical. I've been, there. <laughs> I've been there already. Okay. I don't get what that small patch of spikes is for. See, like those. Can you can you throw some? Oh, okay. They're shooting stuff at you. Never mind then. Link's such a himbo, he has bombs, but has to unlock doors, <laughs> right? <laughs> you would think a bomb would be able to explode the door. <laughs> hey, Diamos, how's it going? We're on dungeon two of the stream. And I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can go back, though. We were just talking about how Link has to probably jumble through all these keys to open all these dungeon doors. When and then Alexander brought up a good point where why can't he just use bombs to open the doors? Let's try this. Okay, that worked. Run, babe. Do I have the key for this? I do not. You don't have the big key, damn. And I oh. I do not miss having to needing to have a big key to open the chest. I prefer the. Well, I guess it's the same thing where you need a big key to get to the boss. So, yeah. Good, how are y'all? We're doing great. Um, it's our second dungeon of the stream today. I think this is dungeon number six overall. Uh, of the Dark World, anyway. Um... And yeah, it's it's our Friday today, our work Friday. And tomorrow we're going to go see Doctor Strange. So yay. Ooh, yes. We're very excited about that. And don't worry, we won't be spoiling anything for you guys tomorrow, but we were thinking of maybe doing a YouTube video talking about spoilers if anyone wanted to watch like have have like a spoiler talk. Because I know we're going to be hyped afterwards. 
Time to head back to work. Hope the rest of the stream goes well. Oh, thank you, Wolfie. Okay. It was nice having you here. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Wolfie. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, I hope the rest of your shift goes well. Uh, Ruin said, you found the cane of sombrero. Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> yes, you noticed. <laughs> Pop Poggers, nice. Date night. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna have a little date night tomorrow. That should be fun. I think you mean Scarlet Witch and the Multiverse of Madness is my fave name. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I'm not... Like, I I love Scarlet Witch, but I hope she doesn't overshadow Doctor Strange because it, like, uh, it is a Doctor Strange movie. So I hope he doesn't get overshadowed by everything that's going on in the movie. <laughs> Plot twist, the whole Scarlet Witch screen time is what was shown in the trailers. Ooh, imagine. I hate when that happens. Sometimes that does happen, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh well, here's you. a locked door. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely suck. Okay. Uh, this looks like a new room. What did the switch do? Oh, th okay. Those... I guess it rose the... Uh... The block somewhere else. <laughs> Jesse's over these conveyor belts, I can tell. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to it. <laughs> You're just like trying to zap the floating head. You mean like Morbius? Ooh. <laughs> we didn't even go see we Morbius. See that that's how terrible it looked. And I heard it was terrible. With Vulture. <laughs> Wait, did they actually show Vulture in the trailer for Morbius? Okay, so I need to hit the switch to blue on that. Wow. They did? Oh my gosh. That sucked. What happened? The progress of the tiles coming up um, st uh, stayed there. See, look. Oh. You have to wait till they're done. No, no I need to light these on fire. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah, but look, I'll leave the room, and if I ever come back, they're going to be in the same spot as they were. Oh. And Spider-Man, but Spider-Man wasn't even in the movie. That we, Oh, yeah, I remember he he had, like, a poster in, in an alley, but it was removed in the, at the end of the, like, in the final version of the movie. Yeah, it's like, almost like Marvel said, no, we're distancing ourselves from this film. <laughs> A few moments later. I'm well, sending you big bear hugs, Earl. Here, actually, let me do this. There you go, Earl. Sending you some big bear hugs. <laughs> Are y'all going to TwitchCon? Um, I was reading up on it a little bit, but I don't think we'll be able to go. I would love to meet all you guys, though. You'd want to go to f final uh, to 14 Fan Fest? Ooh, that'd be fun. They've been doing that for years. Mm -hmm. Oh, Earl, you just started 14? Ooh. You're in love. <laughs> sucks being in the UK. We never get the cool cons. Oh, that sucks. What kind of cons do you get in the UK? And also, hello from the UK. <laughs> Wait, that did nothing? Um, I guess not. That was weird. What's the point of the puzzle? <laughs> there are some torches like that in this game that don't really do anything. I don't know, it's kind of weird. What data center? Earl, a bunch of us in Travis Discord started recently. Um, Primal, Hyperion Center. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I know. Um, I think Travis started up 14 too, so... 
Oh, that's there's cool. a two-parter, that's what it is. Oh, okay. So maybe you have to light up the torches in both rooms? And the Wizros are gonna be trying to get in your way. I like these enemies. <laughs> we need cross-regional DC travel, lol. <laughs> There you go. What did that do, though? The game gets corrupt. <laughs> I think the game's broken. Cindy, the game's shaking. <laughs> okay, the longest earthquake. What's that? Good? That was okay. That was exaggerated as fuck. <laughs> what? What happened? Even. What? What even happened? What in the world? He is confused. I do not remember this part at all. The room, this room got big. Oh, is that what happened? It expanded this room. Let's see what Zelda has to say. Jeez. Oh, it's the Hasarala. Hasarala, the Elder. You must set fire to four torches to open the way for. We we literally just did that to Hasarala. <laughs> I can't pronounce your name. I'm sorry. Jizz. <laughs> it's just a hallway. So all that rumbling was just for a hallway. Girl, we, we did some remodeling. At least install a, a men's room or, or a fairy's room with a boudoir. Can I fall in here? You think that'll do um, it? Maybe. Okay. Okay. Hello, chest. Okay, hey, I need key. that key, yeah. Okay. Right. This dungeon still doesn't make a lick of sense, but I'm, <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> well, you're progressing. Progress. <laughs> okay. Now you can get the cane of sombrero. Yes, we should be able to get it now. We have Octorok. Oh. Boo, no, it's me. But look at him, he's just so squishy. He's here to, to spit rocks at you and be annoying. You hate Wizrobe from Zelda 2? I was, I was saying this in an earlier stream of this game, but I've never completed Zelda 2. I need to get on that. You got the cane of sombrero. It will be very helpful if you make proper use of it. What a mysterious cane. That doesn't tell me anything about it. <laughs> they want you to figure it out, I guess. Figure it out yourself. Cane of sombrero. <laughs> Ooh, what about a plush of the great fairy or something? <laughs> you can squeeze wow. her boobs. That's one of those life-size plushes. <laughs> and then she laughs when you squeeze her. <laughs> Magical fountain not included. And it has to be the cringe fairy from ocarina of time <laughs> okay so what does this thing do yeah it puts a block okay madonna boobs yep it has to be that one <laughs> thank you alexander <laughs> yeah it would have to be the that fairy she is literally the cringiest one Everything about her screams drag queen. Like, she's a Madonna impersonating drag queen. Wait, what? It disappeared? What did? The... The block? The block I just made. I think it only lasts a little bit. But, um, if you guys ever played the original Hyrule Warriors, you can play as that version of the great fairy and she traps link in a bottle like because it's technically a, a link for wep a weapon for link but um it's because you're taking control of the great fairy but she has link trapped in a bottle so it's hilarious oh you can pick it up too wow they're you taking can. full advantage of me trying to learn this weapon <laughs> i know you're all trying to play with the block and they're all throwing stuff at you 
Breath of the Wild fairies look more like a drag queen to me. Okay, I can see that for sure. I do love those fairies as well. If you use it twice, the block explodes. Oh, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I saw that um, on the first one I used. I'm like, oh, it divided into four. It is one of the more memorable items to me. Like, <clears throat> some. <clears throat> Excuse me. Before Breath of the Wild. <clears throat> uh, what do you mean? The conjuring. Um, blocks, oh, con or yeah. Moving, moving around blocks. Very, stuff. very much before Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Um, what was the point of that? I picked up a big um, rock here, and I'm guessing you have to move one of those blocks. I was just doing that. I, hmm. Unless I make. Blocks. Don't 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 ever pull. It's always push. There's no block missing where you can put that block, maybe. Hmm. Cane of sombrero equals square bomb. Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I was going to say, Twilight Princess had a lot of unique items as well, but I feel like you didn't get to use them as much. Like the spinner. It was literally just for that dungeon and maybe a few heart pieces and that was it. The spinner, yes. And you can actually use the spinner as a weapon for Link in Hyrule Warriors. It was fun. Your fave boss fight ever. That was a pretty fun f boss fight. The best thing in Twilight Princess, though, I, I think, was the double hook shot. That was fun. What's the point of all this? Uh, I'm guessing you put a block on the conveyor belt. Hmm. Style Lord. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he was just the giant Salphos, wasn't he? You see a crack, pull your pants up. <laughs> was was there a crack in the wall? <laughs> Whatever game. <laughs> yep. By the belt. Okay. Good Oops, eye, everyone. I put two down. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, game. Stop acting weird. <laughs> Do you have a full? You can. Oh, okay. Money. Money. Good eye. I didn't see that. I actually, spotted another in the same room. Right here. Oh, okay. Well, I think Jesse spotted it. I'm. Hopefully, it's. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Heartless? <laughs> Heartless, right? Oh, okay, it just keeps coming. Kingdom right. Hearts crossover. Can you go into the cracked hole where the Heartless are coming from? I was about to say, hopefully it has a switch, because I'm going to need it. Okay, cool. Jesse's like, magic powder for days. I, I, I always want to be on uh, full health on that. Okay, uh, okay, this is the door. And you then. still haven't had to use a fairy, huh? No. They've been pretty generous with the healing. I think they weren't counting on people to figure out those can be turned into fairies. Once you get the blue mail, I feel like the game gets a little less hard because you're not taking as much damage. And that was the big hard point of the Dark World is that you would take so much damage from the enemies. I think the slimes just keep falling. I hate that that thing keeps firing at you. I know. It's making me not, like, stop and look around. Whoops. Well, maybe I should. Like, I told Danny that one of the things I don't like about Classic Zelda is uh, enemies that are invincible. Like, like 
they're not killable, but they'll get some cheap hits off of you if. Yeah. And it's mostly like sentient fire or statues, things like that. I mean, look at it right now. Look at it. Like, okay, now it's gonna chase me. <laughs> like, it's not killable, but it has a mind of its own, apparently. All right, so you have to hit that switch. Release me. <laughs> For next Easter, I, I should do something with the li the bunny link. I'm surprised I didn't think about that. Well, I mean, how often has bunny link been in a game? Just this game. That looks to like my the knowledge. Room. Do I have the key for that? Uh... You have a key, but I don't know if it's the key. Get over here so I can... There we go. Okay. Oh, you do. More eyeballs. Uh. Oh, okay. I think you can use your hookshot to pull the eyes out as well. Oh, I guess not. Wrong Zelda game. <laughs> Weird, you don't really use the cane that much for this dungeon. Ooh! Yeah, you don't want to be caught up in that. It looks like the same lightning animation that Ag Aghanim had. Or Anahim. I just think of Girahim every time I say that. I think it needs some some eye drops or something. Aha. Oof. Love the boss music in this game too. Oh, he pissed. <laughs> Ooh, arrow to the eye. That was a pretty easy boss. Mine. Eyeball destroyed. I didn't even have to kill all the eyes. That's what you get for not renewing your eyeglass you prescription. You killed me! Good. Hmm. I did that dungeon pretty fast. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I think it was just um, overwhelming. Like right when you walk in, you see like different floor levels and. Cheers. Because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Someone's been smoking. Ganon captured us because he couldn't break the seal of the wise men with his power alone. And then, using the wizard, Aghanim, as his pawn, he drew us to the Dark World. After cracking the seal with our powers, he sealed us inside of these crystals. He then gave us to his loyal monsters, but Ganon didn't plan on your, you getting this far. Now, Princess Zelda is waiting for you inside of Turtle Rock. Hurry up! Do you understand? Huh? <laughs> May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Ugh, I need a smoke. <laughs> <laughs>